Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of all the features, all the specs that this bike rack has to offer. First things first, I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of everything that I got with the rack. I actually got this rack used, but the gentleman that I bought it off of had mentioned that when you buy a brand new, you get everything that I'm about to show you. We got the lock that obviously is used to prevent theft. It's a little banged up, but it's still functioning. This little marble is so crucial. It's actually used to keep everything nice and sturdy when it's wedged inside the hitch. This is a special tool designed by 1UP, and it's basically only used for their racks it's pretty neat i'll explain later on in the video how it works and lastly you got the two inch adapter we're rocking a one and a quarter so we're actually not going to use it but it comes with it if you need it if you're looking to store the rack when you're not using it it looks like this but if you want to use it to transport your bikes all you do is you simply extend the arms like so once the arms are fully extended you have two blue tabs on your left and right side and you basically give those a little twist and it keeps the arms in place from bending back inwards. You got your right side, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. My bike rack always stays on my car at all times, but if you are someone who wants to put it away and store it, you just basically reverse everything that we just did. Now we're gonna be showing you guys how we install this rack. The little marble that I showed you guys earlier fits like so, and that's basically what's gonna be used as your wedge system for this rack. Then you find the desired depth that you want your rack to be at. I usually keep mine in the middle and that seems to work for me. It doesn't give me any issues or problems. In order to tighten the bolts on this rack, you need a special Allen key and that's where this guy comes in. As you can see, it has a hole in the middle and it fits perfectly into the bolt so that way you can tighten or loosen it. I was a little skeptical on the marble keeping everything nice and tight but as you can see, it's secured and it's not going anywhere. I've had this rack for a few months and I've never had any issues or slips whatsoever. You might be saying to yourself, wait, so if anybody buys a 1UP rack, they're going to have that special tool to remove a 1UP rack. And yes, that is true, which means that somebody could potentially steal your rack. But that's where the lock comes in. It basically blocks the access point for the bolt to be removed. And if somebody wanted to try to steal this lock, they'd have to literally cut the lock off and have the special tool to remove the bolt. I like to add this extra lock just in case the rack were to ever slip on me. It's never done that, but it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. These notches allow the bike rack to be placed in three different positions. In order to change the position, you simply unscrew it from the bottom like so. This allows the handle to move freely and then you're able to place the rack in whatever position you'd like. The first position is flat and the one that's most commonly used when transporting your bike. Then you can move it a little bit higher up or slightly slanted. And the last position is gonna be pushed up against your bumper. The thing I love most about this rack is the fact that I can open and close my trunk in any position that I place the rack in. And that's a big reason why I never take this rack off because it feels like nothing's ever there. I'm able to access my trunk no problem if I do have my bike stored on the rack and I need to get something I simply lower it all the way pop open my trunk and then get what I need to get close my trunk and then just push my bike upward until it locks to that first latch a cool feature about this rack is the fact that you can add up to three more racks for a total of four racks in order to attach the additional racks you simply unscrew the bolts on the outside, add on the racks, and then tighten everything down with the Allen key that they provide you with. Pushing up on these little red tabs allow you to open up the rack arms. You don't need to push it to close it. I like to do it just because it makes less noise. But to open them, you do need to push the red tabs. Once the rack arms are fully extended, you want to go ahead and grab your bike and then put it in between each rack arm. Then you can go ahead and pull on the arms. And as you pull, you'll hear a clicking noise, which means that the arms are just getting tighter and tighter and securing your bike. I really love this rack. It is so sturdy. It keeps my bike in place and it looks clean while doing so. I'm in love with this bike rack. I think it's one of the best investments I've made for mountain biking, really. I had a Thule T2 Pro 
rack in the past and it was a great rack but it was just a little too bulky this is way more low profile a lot more sleek and simple one of my favorite things about it is the fact that I don't have to mess with it when I open and close my trunk it kind of just stays in place everything seems well built one up definitely knows what they're doing I know for a fact that this bike rack is gonna last me maybe in the future I'll add an additional rack but for right now this is what's working for me if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can that is gonna wrap up this video but I'll catch you on the next one peace